So once we looked at the data, what we realized was that you had a planet that was being engulfed by a star. This discovery was totally accidental. I mean, I'll say it loud up front. I work on binary stars, uh, and a lot of binary stars, they undergo explosions during their lives. Some of these explosions, they're called novae. And the way you find novae is that you keep taking images of the sky every night. And every now and then, you'll see a star that brightens by a factor of thousands, sometimes millions, over the course of a week or so. In this particular case of nova explosions, what you have is a dead remnant of a star like the sun, which is what we call a white dwarf. The white dwarf is slowly pulling away matter from its companion because it has such a strong gravitational field. And as this matter accumulates on the surface of the star, every now and then it becomes unstable and essentially explodes like a nuclear bomb. So as you would imagine, if you ignite a nuclear bomb on a star, it should really heat up the gas around it. And when we looked at this particular star, it appeared to be a cold gas all around it. For some reason, the star had brightened, but it didn't have any hot gas around it. It's not a nova for sure, but what else is it? So that was our next step. We got infrared data from ground-based telescopes and also looked at space-based telescopes that uh, NASA has been operating for the last few years to try to understand what this cold gas was doing. So what it told us was that in addition to the cold gas that we were seeing in the chemical signatures, this thing was slowly producing a ton of dust around it. Okay, if I put all of these signatures together, cold gas, dust, a sudden brightening, what does it look like? And the only things that we've seen do this in the past are these phenomena that we call stellar mergers. You get stellar mergers when you have two stars, they were born together, but at some point in the life, one of the stars ran out of fuel in its core and it starts to expand. And as it does that, it engulfs its companion during that process. And that's what produces the brightening of the star. So the signatures of this event all smelt like a stellar merger, but it just wasn't bright enough. Compared to any other stellar merger that we had seen in the past, it was something like a factor of a thousand fainter than anything we had seen. And if you ask what is a thousand times less massive than the star? Jupiter. Jupiter is about a thousandth of the mass of the sun. Maybe what it was trying to consume as it was dying was not another star, but a planet that was next to it, very much like Jupiter. But unlike Jupiter, which is very far out in our solar system, this Jupiter was in a very short orbit around its star. What happens in this case is that the star is slowly expanding as it's beginning to die. And the first thing that happens is that the planet suddenly feeling this frictional force that's coming from this hot gas from the star, eventually is going to make the plunge into the surface of the star. And in the very final moments, it spews out some of the outer layers of the star. That's what we see in the infrared light that's glowing in this cold gas around the system. And in the very final moments, the planet plunges into the surface of the star. And all of that gravitational energy of the planet just suddenly gets injected into the star itself. And that's what causes it to balloon up. You know, this is something that's been predicted to happen in the universe for decades. Since the first days we've known how stars live their lives, we know that this must happen in the universe. The technology never existed in the past for us to be able to get these observational signatures until now. And that's why we are living in a really exciting era for astronomy. As far as we can tell, Mercury and Venus are certainly going to be engulfed by the sun. There is no question about that. It is very, very likely that the Earth is also going to meet that fate. If the Earth's orbit stays where it is today, it's going to get engulfed by the sun.